Hello everyone and welcome to episode 93 of this Let's Play series of Star Trek Online. My name is Winters and you are very welcome. We are just about to start the very first mission uh, in the Delta Quadrant story arc which is called Escalation. Uh, as always the first mission in any story arc is basically go to a location and talk to an NPC. So um, yeah we'll quickly get this out of the way. Um, if we look here, it says use the gateway in the Beta Quadrant to enter the Janolan Dyson Sphere. So we're going to be using this option. We're, uh, we're not going to travel to the Solonai Dyson Sphere, we're going to travel to the Janolan Dyson Sphere in the Delta Quadrant. Welcome to the Janolan Dyson Sphere. The situation in the Delta Quadrant is continuing to develop. We will need the assistance of all our allies to stay ahead of it. Okay, beam to Delta Quadrant Command, which is this option right here. Okay, and now we have to report to Commander Burgess. And uh, this is kind of like uh, Earth space dock, but in the Delta Quadrant. Uh, so, if we ever have to come or you know go to a 50% vendor or uh, get ba access to the bank or anything like that, we can come here. So, anyway, the first story mission is Mindscape. Uh, I'm actually just going to confirm that. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, yep, it is Mindscape. So let's get that. Admiral Tuvok has requested that you meet Voyager in the Solaran system. I believe he requires your assistance with a personal issue. While you're there, you should be able to get a briefing on the current state of the Delta Quadrant. Okay, we will accept that mission. And we will return to our ship. Okay, so now we're going to go to this system, so instead of returning to the Beta Quadrant, we're going to exit the Janolan Dyson Sphere, um, essentially going out through that opening there. It's been 32 years since Voyager finished its journey. We thought we had left the Delta Quadrant behind us. We were wrong. The gateways to the Quadrant are open. And the choices we made have long-lasting effects. Now, we will help the friends we left behind. And fight the rising darkness. Voyager's first trip through the Delta Quadrant was a solitary one. We must return to set things right. This time, we must unite to survive. So that cutscene was released when the expansion um, Star Trek Online Delta Rising came out. And uh, yeah. Okay. So this is the Delta Quadrant. There is uh, six sectors in it. And um, if we zoom in here. Uh, this is the Janolan Dyson Sphere, where we currently are. Uh, this is the Fle Fleet Research Lab, one of the holdings. And obviously, this is where we are going. So we'll set course now. Much of the Delta Quadrant story arc, um, as you would expect, basically involves um, exploring the Delta Quadrant. You know, so this is a, some of the story missions are basically go here and do the patrol that uh, is at that particular location. Uh, but anyway, we're playing Mindscape now, so let's uh, 
get cracking with that. Greetings. Admiral Tuvok is waiting for you in the conference room. Welcome aboard. It's good to see you too. Now, one of the things when this um, expansion Sorry, came we out, don't have time for a tour, but the admiral insists he needs to speak with you right away. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, one of the things they done when this expansion came out was um, the Voyager Bridge Pack, and it is freaking awesome. It is absolutely fantastic. Obviously, this is just the transporter room, but we're going up to the bridge now, um, and it has a few decks in it. Um, and the Admiral is waiting for you in the ready room. We'll get to see them. Greetings. I am still... What else? I have... Been... What else do you... My mind to your mind. Your thoughts to my thoughts. <laughs> okay, um, so the first thing we have to do is try and leave Sick Bay. And uh, if we have a quick look here, we can see they have done a fantastic job of Please this. Please state the nature of the medical emergency. And there's a doctor. Please state the nature of the medical emergency. Mm -mm -mm, don't be dip. You're not going. Enemy target on sensor. Can you hear me? Come speak to me at the desk terminal. The mind meld was no. Remember. So we're in the middle of a mind meld with a Tuvok. No. Take the pad. Oh, I took the pad. Good. Now we will be able to remain in contact. Proceed to engineering. Cooper is attempting to subvert my... is trying to overload the warp core. You must keep it stable. Something isn't right here. The mindscape is a simulacrum. Cooper may move elements to suit his needs or try to stop you. Certain areas may be blocked or damaged or even transformed. Do your best to reach your destination. Cooper cannot simultaneously attack an area and conceal it. Now we can see an entrance has actually appeared here that leads into engineering. Let's have a look here. What are you doing here? As you can see, an absolutely fantastic job in replicating engineering on the USS Voyager. Just absolutely fantastic. And even up there. Now, unfortunately, that is an area that we cannot get to, but it would be pretty cool if we could get upstairs. So anyway, here's Harry Kim. What are you doing here? I've almost... Bilana. You are... I'll destroy you. And two box mine with you. You he can't stop this. defense to protect himself. Use one of the engineering consoles to press your attack. Meza will try and lower the force field. Get He's out! He has raised defenses to protect himself. Use one of the engineering consoles to press your attack. Strengthen my mental defenses. 
Excellent. Okay. Um, so we're moving on now. Move through the crew decks to your right. You may. Seven of nine. What is happening? I have no reason. Seven. That is Borg technology. But the presence of the Collective will not dissuade us. Assimilation is irrelevant. Assimilated Undine may be a reflection of the unconscious fears of Species 8472. And back to the bridge. And there's Cooper. Oh, you're here. Let's just get this over with. I will secure the bridge while you release Tuvok. With Cooper defeated, he should no longer be able to maintain the telepathic link with my mind. For the time being. With Cooper's attack temporarily halted, we are in a position to slow the advance of his Undine forces. Please accompany me to the bridge. Again, we can see in a little bit more detail now that the bridge is absolutely fantastic. So well done. We can't get into the conference room just yet, but there is a conference room there that you can get we into. We still do not have a fix on Cooper's whereabouts. I will contact Starfleet for any current information about Undine movements. Use the sensors to check for their quantum signatures. Voyager's sensor array is currently calibrated for tracking Undine movements, so you should be able to garner results quickly. So, let's go over to the ops station. You should return to your ship. We must still. You don't belong here. Ah, stun grenade. We should use the link to our advantage. If we can track Cooper through the link, we can then pursue him in the physical realm. Cooper is trying to block your progress. Look for another path. So you can see things change as uh, as you proceed. Cooper is attempting to distort your path again. Keep searching. So it's, I suppose it's a little bit of a maze, really. 
leave Tuvok to handle um, the NPCs. I sense we are making progress. Keep searching. Haha. <laughs> There's a hidden accolade for us. Enemy target on sensor. I hate it when that happens. Enemy combat. Okay, now we can open astrometrics. <laughs> Sounds like a microwave. In 2375. There. We have him. Cooper has broken the link. The melt can end. This ordeal, please join me. And out to the bridge. And we should be out of the meld now, this time for real. Voyager will join you in the northwest path. Space was labeled by Commander Chicote. We must look. So it looks like we're going back into fluidic space again. some singularities here to scan and we're looking for the correct one there we are now we enter fluidic space Cooper's command but this would explode you've come on okay so now we have to disable Cooper's bio ship <clears throat> see the same thing happening here again with the tides Okay. 
Okay, now we beam cross. We get onto um, the bio ship now. We are close to Cooper's position, but the bio ship is blocking transport in the area closest to the central nexus. Alrighty then. Wow, this actually looks very different from the last time I played this. Um, wow, the lighting update has the made a big change. This passage will not okay, we'll leave Tuvok there to fight those guys, and we'll continue on with the mission. I should point something out actually, um, from this point onwards, not every mission, but it'll become the average that missions are just a lot longer now. Um, if you remember, we've had quite a few episodes where we've done a mission and you know it took like uh, 10 minutes or you know 8 minutes or whatever. Um, from here on, they should be taken quite a bit longer. Um, as I said, not every mission, but it, it will become a lot more frequent compared to what it was. So, um, yeah, it's just the standards that the devs have now compared to when the game first came out, and, you know, there's a big difference night and day. And, um, yeah, uh, you know, uh, story missions are a lot better now. Uh, there's a lot more going into them. Uh, you can definitely see Cooper that. Cooper should be in the chamber. An intriguing... Okay. Now this guy is not going to be easy to take down. At least he shouldn't be. Although we're not doing too bad so far. I thought he was really going to mess up my day. Of course, he's invulnerable now, so we have to take on these Undine. The ship is resisting the meld. I must move to another neural cluster. That looks like Duranium, I think. You must protect me from Undine attacks while I concentrate. Uranium. Never have too much R and D stuff. You must protect me from undine attacks while I concentrate. I'm working on it. You must protect me from undine attacks while I concentrate. You must protect me from undine attacks while I concentrate. God, he really is a bitch and Betty, isn't he? The ship is resisting the meld. I must move to another neural cluster. Thoughts. 
Why should we listen to the weak? You will perish when the Iconians complete their purge. To the Iconians, you are weak. We must survive. When we fight one another, we are weak. United, we are strong. No! Don't listen to him! We must see to our needs. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. The many must survive. We don't need them! The many will be strong. The strong will survive. They are weak. I will save us. You are weak. What? No! But together, we are strong. So basically what happened there was, uh... <clears throat> Bio-Dreadnought has no intention of entering our space. Now we must return to our ships before the Undine retreat to their own fortresses in fluidic space. So, uh, Tubok basically melded with uh, the Bio-Ship. And uh, it seems that the Iconians are causing trouble yet again. signs of undine pursuit our shared effort okay that's uh, pretty much that mission so let's hail starfleet with cooper gone the undine won't have a leader pushing them toward war with our forces I wonder why he was so set on this conflict. We still don't know exactly how long Cooper had been replaced by an Undine, or if the original Cooper is still alive. Perhaps this Undine saw something during his time among us that convinced him that the only way to secure the safety of his people was to destroy ours. It wouldn't be the first time that's happened. Remember the Zindi attack on Earth in the 22nd century? They were told by the Sphere Builders that they had to destroy Earth to save themselves. It turned out that Sphere Builders were using the Zindi as a tool in their own destructive plans. We know the Iconians have manipulated the Undine. Maybe they were the ones pushing Cooper to attack. Yep, so the Undine, are, or the um, Iconians, are causing problems. Anyway, uh, we get the standard rewards for this mission, and we have only one um, option for uh, a reward item. So, uh, yeah, let's collect that. Um, okay, so we'll leave it there for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, I really appreciate uh, you guys checking it out. Um, if you did enjoy it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Winters. I will see you next time, and until then, take care.